Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. We are celebrating National Pancake Day this week with some pancake art. Well, an attempt to do pancake art. This video was sort of inspired actually by my brother who does a lot of like pancake shapes with his daughter, my niece. She loves pancake shapes. She even knows how to flip the pancakes herself. She's so proud of it. I love her. So we're using them as sort of inspiration to try and attempt to do pancake art today. The extent of my art is Oh, I have taken some art classes back in college because it was you know, required for my advertising degree. Fun side story, one of the first art classes I had to take was figure drawing. I didn't even know what figure drawing was, but it was literally <laughs> drawing naked people live sitting there in front of you, naked models. Um, it did not say that anywhere in the class description. It did not say that in the syllabus. <laughs> so that was a fun little surprise I had in college, but I actually really loved that class. And I think of myself as a creative person. No, I'm not an artist, but I love being creative. I loved drawing, charcoal art, painting. It was all so fun. Now, I have some of my supplies set up here, just some like regular normal squeeze bottles. I think these were like two for a dollar at the store. I do have some gel food coloring that we'll be using for the different colors we want to achieve. I have some random sprinkles. I don't know if we'll use them, but I have them out. And then I have the big boy pancake mix today. This is the Costco size. So today we are gonna use sort of the pancake batter method from Liz at the Sugar Geek Show. So she has, I can put the link to this recipe as well, but for pancake art, from what I understand, you really need like a much thinner consistency with your batter than you normally would making pancakes. Like, especially if you're going to be using these squeeze bottles or piping bags, you really need it much thinner to get some clean lines in your art. So I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping the batter before we heat up our griddle. And we're just gonna see what we can do. We'll start off with something simple, <laughs> like maybe some simple shapes first and we'll see how those go. And then we're just gonna get at it. We're gonna try and make some art here. Yeah, let's get started. I'm excited. So according to Liz's recipe, you want about three cups of pancake mix and about two and a half to three cups of water. Let's start that now. So now that our batter is like a thin consistency, she said it should be like runny ketchup. And I feel like we're there. Let's go ahead and fill in. We're just gonna use a funnel to fill in our squeeze bottles. Okay, so now that our batter is filled in the squeeze bottles, you can add your food coloring. I think what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna do a red, a green, and a purple, and then I'm gonna leave one bottle just plain, um, and because we're gonna try and use that as more like a filler color. What you can do is just start squeezing these into, into your squeeze bottle and then stir it up. I'm just gonna use a chopstick and swirl it until you kind of get the color you want. So now that we have our colored bottles filled, I did a small little like squeeze test on them and they come out pretty well. So here's my purple. Here's, I filled up the most in just leaving the regular pancake batter. And then I also cut off the tip so that it has a bit wider of a spout to come out to help us with the fill. Now let's go ahead and get our griddle warm. But so let's just go ahead and get started with something super simple in case it turns out very bad, <laughs> then we can, we can redo and rework, all right? Thank you. 
So first one, attempt at a heart. It looks okay, but I wouldn't say great. I didn't use any nonstick spray because no one that I watched did, but I think that I'm going to. I'm just gonna do like a light, a light coat for this next one. Cause this one was kind of hard to um, scrape up and flip. So let's try something else.
Okay, we are done. Well, we are out of batter, so we are done. Um, that was so much fun. Okay, I know that I had to do like a lot of more simple shapes, but it was my first time. And I think a lot of them came out, let's say not bad, not bad. A couple things I learned if you wanna try pancake art. So yes, your batter needs to be a thinner consistency. I think I almost would have put, um, or almost would have opt next time for a squeeze bottle that had a more thinner tip to do like some better line work on the, on the drawings. So that's one. Two, you do have to start your griddle on a warm setting as you're drawing and outlining. But for us, because these pancakes are actually meant to be eaten <laughs> um, and we prefer our pancakes a little crispy, I did crank up the heat to about medium or on our griddle, that's like a number three to give it a bit more of a crisp. And then another tip, something that I didn't see anyone use in the pancake art videos was some nonstick cooking spray. So I know that the griddle is nonstick, but I still on the first couple ones had a hard time lifting it from the griddle. So I did end up using after like the first one, some like a light coat of cooking spray for every single one after that and then as they were after i flipped them when they were done i did add a little coat of butter on on the tops of each of them because again these are <laughs> they're meant to be eaten by us so not all of them are the best but some of them were okay so what did you think of these i mean Again, not bad for a first attempt, right? We may even try this again with some more like, more complex art. But what I will do is I'll do a little taste test of one. I'll do a taste test of the heart. So this is the pancake syrup that we use at my house. I broke into the heart. Let's just, let's see how it tastes. Tastes like a pancake. It's good. I am so happy that these turned out looking pretty good and they still taste great. Thank you for joining me for this pancake adventure and happy National Pancake Day. If you are making your own pancakes, let me know if you're gonna try some out, some designs out. Drop them in the comments. Let me know what you're making. Thanks for joining me on this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.